Last year we did pretty good review of vidIQ and it was very popular and it's still one of the most popular videos on the channel. But I want to drop another review this year as well. Because some things have changed and most importantly my attitude towards the YouTube have changed as well. So without further ado, let me just give you my review of vidIQ for the year of 2021. First things first, if you want a detailed breakdown of every single tool that vidIQ is giving to you on its maximum license, basically meaning that every single thing that vidIQ will do for you for $50 a month, you can watch the video from the previous year because I'm breaking down everything there. And still not much has changed since then. But if you want my practical experience, real world usage experience from the vidIQ user himself, then stay here in this video. So first the things that I want to get out of the way. If you're here to ask whether vidIQ free license is worth it or not, man, Go and get it. You are losing nothing with this. It's absolutely free to use. There is no trial. There is no credit card required. There is nothing there that it will stop you. Just go get it. And if you didn't like it, just uninstall it. By the way, you can get it from the link down below. As for the licenses, besides free, there are two licenses for vidIQ. There is a pro license and there is a boost license. And at the moment, I myself use pro license and I pay for it. And I can safely say it's absolutely worth it for me. With a few big asterisks, of course. First things first, the main tool of vidIQ is its keyword research tool. And it is its most powerful tool and the best keyword research tool on the market. And if you want vidIQ for any other tools, I don't recommend vidIQ for any other tools. Because you will find another tool for that that will be doing probably much more things for the same price. As for the keyword tool, it is the best on vidIQ. It has the best interface both on its website, I mean the vidIQ.com, and in a Chrome extension, and most importantly, in the vidIQ app, which is the thing now. It is giving you an amazing experience of keyword research, including giving you a competition information, searchability, how many times people are searching for related keywords and gives you even the scores of how related these keywords are with each other. And it all does in very simple, very intuitive and amazingly useful way. And don't worry if you don't know how to actually research keywords, we will be doing the video about that in the near future, so stay tuned for that. So if you want a keyword research tool with no restriction of the free license, then vidIQ Pro is the best bet for you. By the way, you can actually get a free trial of any license that you want, including the uh, most expensive one, the boost one, for an entire month with vidIQ. I, actually, this is the thing that I did last year uh, that I, when I got the boost license. So if you want real taste, of the vidIQ, you can actually get it for absolutely free as well. And again, the link will be in the description down below. As for the payments, $10 a month might be a bit too much even for the beginner channels and little not justified to pay for. But the results that it can give to you if you are using it correctly will far outweigh its downfalls. Now, would I recommend the boost license or the pro license? Definitely the pro license. Ignore the boost license completely unless you have at least 10,000 subscribers or you have at least $500 a month from YouTube. Because boost license is not giving you enough tools to justify the $50 a month price. Unless you are already generating a substantial amount of income from YouTube and want to multiply that. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Despite me recommending the pro license to you, vidIQ is dropping some BS things on you to force you to go to the boost license, which is completely outrageous. First, let's start with the limitations of the pro license. And I mean the paid one. If you remember from the last year, the boost license was actually allowing you to put keywords directly into your titles and descriptions alongside with your tags. For the ones who don't know, titles and descriptions are major contributing factors for your video searchability. So even if you ignore tags completely and focus on only these two, your video will get far higher results compared to if you focus on only tags. And for some reason, vidIQ Pro license is not allowing you to do that and you need to pay $50 a month to be able to put your keywords 
directly into titles and descriptions, which is a completely artificial barrier. Oh, but it gets better. Next is the keyword inspector limitations. In a pro license, you're limited to one keyword search at a time. No big deal, you can search whatever number of you want one by one, right? But for some reason, if you want this advanced feature that allows you to search for five keywords at the same time, you will need to pay five times more, which is again, completely artificial BS. Oh, but there is more. Another limitation is in tags. Remember tags? Maybe you want to use them. Maybe you think the tags are completely worth it and it's all your choice. But for some reason, VidIQ will only suggest you three tags only at the time. And if you want more suggested tags or rather all the suggested tags, you need to pay whole $50 for that, which is completely ridiculous. VidIQ, why those limitations? Remember, for all those years, your biggest problem was your way too expensive pricing. Years ago, I did the video, I don't know if it's still available on the channel, but I bashed the VidIQ because it was way too expensive for what it was doing at that time when its competitor was doing far more for the same price or in a case of smaller channels for far cheaper. Yet VidIQ is still continuing to do that now, but now with artificially pushing the prices. What I feel like what VidIQ wants you to do is that if you want the real VidIQ experience, you need to pay $50 per month, doesn't matter how big your channel is, which is complete BS. Come on VidIQ, at least unlock the keyword inspector in its fullest potential for the pro license. Or allow us to use the keywords in the titles and descriptions. You can have all the subscriber information, the bulk SEO and bulk editing tools reserved for the boost license. Because I understand that those are additional tools and requires additional resources from your end to operate. And I know that it costs money. Just don't restrict the things that we are already paying for with an artificial restriction BS's like that. Overall, despite what I said right now, vidIQ is just well worth the $10 price per month that they're asking for. Not 50, 10. Because the keyword inspector just works way better than a competitor does. And it will work for any channel size, does not matter, small or big. Oh, an app? It works flawlessly, it's fast, it's intuitive, and most importantly, it's useful. And it works great. Do you hear it too, buddy? It works great. Overall, this is my opinion about the vidIQ. It is completely worth the purchase for any channel size, from the smallest to the largest. And I mean pro license. If you don't have enough money, and boost license is only worth it, you have at least 10,000 subscribers and $500 per month coming from a YouTube channel. No earlier than that. Don't you even think about upgrading unless it's on a free trial. Well, this was my opinion about vidIQ. What do you think about this? Is it worth it for you? Do you think that paying $10 per month for keyword inspector is way too much? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'm gonna see you in the next one. See ya.